We were thinking about the theme for this exhibition. The Amazon was on fire and the world is basically collapsing. So we thought of talking about that subject. We thought it was important. Well, ArtFem is the only woman's biennale in the world that is continuous. So in that regard, it's very important. In terms of uh, biennales in Asia, it's equally important because there are not so many at the moment. And uh, in, the, in terms of the world, it's one of many, many biennales. It is difficult to bring artists from all over the world for any exhibition. ArtFam is no different. The thing is, our budget is very limited. So maybe next time we can have even more, because everybody was very keen on participating on this one. So well, ArtFam wants to continue. That's the biggest plan. It's to make it a real art exhibition, to change the landscape of art in Macau, to bring uh, to Macau an energy for contemporary art in March of every two years. So let's hope we can uh, meet that challenge. It's, it's a big one. I'm very uh, pleasantly surprised because I find that their quality is the same as the other international artists. There's a lot of experimentation. They use a lot of uh, new media, uh, which is interesting. It means Macau is a very um, technological place. Um, and um, some of the works are really, really beautiful. And so I'm very happy with the Macau artists. I think it's a good thing for them. Everybody was so um, happy with the invitation. I, this, this edition was made through invitation. And everybody was just happy to be part of it, excited. Everybody was like really working hard to meet the standards of the Biennale. Also because we had the COVID year, everybody had to maybe change their works because they could not come anymore. So, but they were just so keen in being here and they're so, um, how do you say, they're so positive about it. And whoever didn't come, they're, they're suffering but they will come next time, okay. Well, I hope Macau uh, enjoys this Biennale. I hope uh, the people of Macau start to make exhibitions around the Biennale calendar, so that next edition, because we will have the public here, um, we have a Biennale plus everything that the social, uh, uh, the civil society will make. So I hope next time, we really have a very, very big event.